Welcome to Desserts by Design. Hi, I'm Jasmine. In this video, I will show you how I make tart shells. And I will share with you a few tips to turn this into this. This recipe uses 50 grams of egg. Chances are, when I crack an egg, I will end up with more than I need. Trying to get the exact amount is troublesome. I will also end up with a bit of egg that I have no use for. When the recipe measures eggs in grams, I scale the recipe to use up whole eggs. In this case, I have 60 grams of egg, which is 1.2 times more egg than the recipe. So I increase all the ingredients by 1.2. Combine flour, almond flour, and salt. Put butter in an electric mixer with a paddle attachment. The butter should be soft enough to squeeze. Beat the butter on medium speed. Add powdered sugar. Mix on medium until creamy. Scrape the bowl a few times. Add room temperature eggs, about one third at a time. Mix at medium speed until well blended. Scrape the bowl in between. The flour mixture about one third at a time. Mix on medium speed until just combined. Put the dough in a bowl. Cover and refrigerate for at least two hours. To roll the dough to an even thickness, I place 3mm thick wood boards under the ends of my rolling pin. You can work the dough all at once, but I don't have a big enough surface to roll the whole batch, so I work in smaller portions. Put the unused dough in the refrigerator to keep it cold. Use dusting flour to prevent sticking. Start by pressing down on the dough. Start rolling. Add dusting flour as needed. Flip the dough often so it doesn't stick. Roll the dough to 3mm thick. Use a tart ring to cut the dough. Place the cut dough on a line sheet. It is important to keep the dough cold while working. My dough got a bit too warm, making it difficult to lift up. If the dough is too soft to handle, put it in the refrigerator or freezer for 10 to 15 minutes. This section of the dough was still cold, so it was a lot easier to work with. For a tart ring with a rounded edge, use a cookie cutter to cut the dough. To line the side of the tart rings, cut the dough into strips. Carefully move the strips to rest on a line sheet.
since my dog got soft, it was difficult to move. So for the second round, I transferred the dough onto parchment paper before cutting. Lift the paper to the tray. It was a hot day and the dough started to melt in my hands. So I put the tray in my freezer for about an hour. When the dough is cold and firm, place the tart rings on a lined baking sheet. For this set of tarts, I line my sheet pan with a perforated silicone mat. Place the dough in the tart ring. Gently press down and to the side to fit the ring. Wrap the strip around the inside of the tart ring. Press against the side and at the same time, gently push it down. Cut off the excess. Use a knife to trim the top edge. Slice the knife outward. When pressing the strip down and against the tart ring, pay extra attention to the bottom edge to make sure there is no gap. The same goes for smooth tart rings. For this set of tarts, I lined my baking sheet with parchment paper. When baking on parchment paper or a regular silicone mat, poke holes in the base and the sides. This will help steam ventilation and minimize bumps on the tart shells. Freeze the unbaked shells for at least one hour or overnight. Bake at 325 for 12 to 15 minutes. The tart shell is done when it's light golden brown. However, I like a darker color, so I bake them a few minutes longer. I have two types of tart rings. This one with a perforated surface makes the size smooth and evenly colored. The tart ring with a smooth surface tends to make some bumps. The same goes for baking mats. The perforated mat provides better heat circulation. The dough retains its shape and bakes more evenly compared to the ones baked on parchment paper. If you like, you can sand the rough edges using a grater or a sifter. Raw dough can be stored in a container in the refrigerator for 3 to 5 days or in a freezer for a month. You can shape and freeze the unbaked dough as well. When ready to use, if the dough is already shaped, bake them from frozen. If the dough is not shaped, Take out of the freezer and wait a few minutes until it is pliable enough to work with. Baked tart shells can be stored in an airtight container at room temperature for a couple days or in the freezer for a month. When taking the baked tart shells out of the freezer, you can refresh them in a 325 oven for a few minutes. If you don't plan to use leftover dough to make more tarts, you can bake them off like regular sugar cookies and decorate them with icing or not. Either way, they'll be gone in no time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.